Um, today what I'm going to show you guys how to do is clean the inside of your computer. Um, as you guys may or may not know, your computer is a very important product in your life. Um, you keep a lot of things in it. You keep your financials, you keep a contacts list, um, there, there's all kinds of information you keep in your computer that you want to make sure that it doesn't break down on you. Um, one of the biggest reasons why a computer breaks down is because of the insides. Uh, when it uh, gets too dusty or whatnot, it can clog up the fan, clog up the motherboard, and create a lot of heat. So, um, as far as cleaning your PC, you should probably clean your PC about once every six months. Um, if you tend to have a dusty house, I would say once every two or three months. Um, this will prevent um, any over, over exhaustion in the fan. So, what I'm going to show you first is what you probably would need to clean. Of course, you're going to need the computer to clean it. And then you're going to need um, towels. Um, I usually recommend uh, the Clorox wipes um, because they're not so wet that they're going to hurt the insides. Um, I also recommend a toolkit uh, specifically for computers. The reason why is because a uh, normal toolkit doesn't have the correct screws um, and also it doesn't have one of these. Um, I also recommend a the dust remover. Uh, the dust remover helps get in the spots that you can't get and puffs out the dust. So, the first thing you're going to do of course is open up the PC as I've already done for you. Um, most of the time you'll have the little, the little screws in the PC that you just screw out. Sometimes you'll have a little lever that you click and you have to pull it out. So we'll just open it and I'll put this right there. And as you may or may not be able to see, it's not too bad, but there is a little bit of dust in there, especially once you get here to the fan. Um, and that, that's the most important part. Now one of the most important things that people don't realize is even though you have a computer turned off, there's still static electricity in the computer itself. So it's important to ground yourself, and the best way to do so is to strap on a wrist band. Like that. And then usually it'll come with a metal clip, and then you want to clip yourself. And that way, if a static electricity gets to you and you get shocked, you won't be hurt. And a lot of people don't realize that that can happen, but it can. Okay. So normally what you want to do is start out with the Clorox wipes, which having problems coming out. And then you want to wipe the wipe the bottom first to make sure that the most easiest area areas you can get to first are done. Okay. And as you can see it's pretty dirty on the bottom. And then after that, um, usually there's going to be a lot of dust in between the Ethernet cards, the video cards, and whatnot. So usually what you want to do is just, when you spray in there, you don't want to spray it out too far. So you want to hold up the can of air and spray around. And then it should puff it out so that you can easily get it around the areas. Now one important part that most people don't realize is that they like to spray directly into the fan. This is actually really bad for the fan. You don't want to spray the fan so that it spins. Um, this can cause the fan to um, kind of roll off, its, um, roll off its hinges, so to speak, and will therefore make your fan pretty much well useless. So usually what you want to do with the fan is just simply wipe it down. So then you have the fan clean. Now the fan that's sitting right here, you're going to have to spray a little bit in, but you don't want to spray it so much that it just spins and spins and spins. You want to spray a little bit at a time so it doesn't spin out of control. And of course it's important not to touch this with the can of air because it can then injure the power. Okay, 
So now that we have it pretty much well cleaned out, go ahead and take off your wristband and put your PC back in there together. And then once you're done with the inside, of course, you can clean out the outside. Um, once again, I recommend the Clorox because it also gets rid of any um, extra bacteria that may be on your tower. So, and there you have it. That's the most basic and easiest way to clean your tower. Um, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and it can save you thousands of dollars in the end. Uh, thank you.